Hey everyone, this is Luis and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be mobile specific. Have you guys ever heard of the Evil Booster? Well, the Evil Booster is another way for evolving heroes. You see, for every star rank, you will need a certain amount of soul stones and gold. For example, star rank 5, you will need 150 soul stones plus 800,000 gold. And then for star rank 6, you will need an additional 300 soul stones and also a million and a half gold more. And this is the same for every every hero across the board. Now say, is there a way to spend less, spend less time looking for soul stones in missions, in all these specific events that we now and then get? Well, there happens to be a way that this is really, really mobile specific. That's the evil booster. Well, for the evil booster, we can consume our uh, cross server wars trophies. If you check here, I have a bunch of those 1500. And naturally, you get these from from your, your CSW uh, weekly competitions if you get access to it and as soon as you, you get enough uh, of these trophies you can go, uh, go on here in, in the merchant and look for the, for the evolution booster there's other boosters just to mention them briefly the experience booster lets you upgrade your, your, your hero all the way to level 120 using the trophies and the skill booster lets you upgrade one of your hero's skills to the max level that it allows and that will depend on the type of skill and the level of the hero also consuming the trophies, the CSW trophies and they call it the blue trophies also as well the evolution booster lets you exchange these trophies for the next evolution of that hero so you can evolve a hero from one star to two stars three stars four stars five stars and then six stars with the exception of jet so let's go ahead and buy one of these and see how it goes we have one Let's get out of this shop. And see. I would like to evolve my Helios. My Helios is right here. Is at 4 stars. If I press the evolve button here, it will tell me I will need 800,000 gold. It doesn't tell me how much soul stones. That's something that maybe the developers can improve. And here I don't get the reference of many I will need because I've already met the requirement. All it says I have 503 soul stones. Let's take a look at my deposit of soul stones. See, I have a bunch of them here. 600, 800 another 600 there 900 700 so many <laughs> so we have a lot of these and we can certainly trade this um, I, I'm excuse me use the the evil booster to avoid spending these so that we can later uh, exchange these for other types of prizes so the first thing that we need to do is look here for the evil booster there it is and we can press the button use here now we're going to look for the hero that I want to evolve that's going to be Helios as I mentioned so I choose this hero there we go it consumed the 500 or better, it returned the 500 because I already had enough soul stones to, to evolve to, to 5 stars. It would have consumed the soul stones plus uh, trophies if I didn't have enough 
uh, soul stones or just trophies if I didn't have any soul stones. So we now have a, a five star Helios and we can look here again for another trophy and perhaps we can buy a bunch of these. Huh? Let's buy one, two and three trophies. So, where are we in terms of uh, hero power? We just went up three, three ranks. I don't know what was the, the value before. But, um, well, let's take a look again. We are at uh, 1,250,000. Eh, I'm not sure how much we're going to grow here, but just for reference. We have Helios here at 30k. Let's try evolving him a bit more. So the evolution booster, we pick Helios again. There we go, an increase of 3,200 or, or 300 or so. And return the trophies. Now I wish this would be a bit more um, like automated if you you could automate the purchase somehow because it's going to be a bit <laughs> a bit painful now because I want to do a bit a bunch more of, of errors let's see faceless I also want to do faceless because I always figured faceless would be a good combo for my Orion and might also be a, a hero to try use on on the Hydra I'm not sure but we're gonna try we got nothing to lose because we get the trophies back. Also, I'm not sure you, if you guys noticed, but we are not spending gold, huh? <laughs> Isn't that nice? Let me remind you of that. We would be spending for each uh, five star upgrade eight eight hundred thousand gold and six star one million and a half gold. But we're not spending that. In fact, we don't have enough for all of these evolutions that I'm doing. We got now another um, 3000 or so power for for faceless. Let's do again. And we got another 3000 or so. And see, my gold is still here. I've got nothing to lose <laughs> except time. <laughs> but I'm going I'm going to say that this will be worth it. And if you stay along the video um, try to make it as fast as possible you will see why so let's go and buy these get back in here next up is going to be mojo why mojo hydra definitely for the hydra let's look for mojo mojo poor buddy only two stars Let's fix this. Huh? Again, Mojo. It's some spinach. Huh? All of a sudden, you're beginning to be a grown up. So three more, back to the game. And we look again for the evil booster. And we pick Mojo. There we go, six stars. Now, you might wonder, so what's the point of getting all these these heroes some of them uh, y you might use some of them you might use just a little bit some of them you might not use at all what's the point of getting them to six stars the point is that then you get access to exchanging all these extra soul stones that you collected for um the um, the soul coin shop the coin for the soul shop 
which you can then la later trade for items, artifacts and also jet soul stones. So in my case I had an extra 53 souls for Helios and an extra 354 soul stones for Faceless plus also 27 for Astrod because we just had an event and uh, you know just doing the daily tasks I accumulated some. So you see now I, I'm, I cannot buy now a jet until I push that trade button but I will certainly be pushing that trade button well let's move on and do some more let's see how much we can get by my account my calculations we would get an extra 2088 soul stones so that's going to be nice let's go for another next up in the list is Leon why Leon? Well, Leon is great at stopping certain heroes, so as a counter, for example, Kira. So if you are bored with Kira and uh, I don't know, let's see. Also, any f any fast attacking hero that happens to to hit everyone in the opposing team or just the backline and does Leon will have a, a, a hard day fighting a team with, uh, with Leon. But she's not particularly good against, for example, uh, very slow but high damaging heroes like uh, for example Satori or Kark so those those will will ultimate too slowly and well Kark Kark certainly w will not be the perfect fit for for using uh, Leon in my opinion but I might be a little bit wrong here but Satori it does do uh, some area of effect um, damage with the um, I'm not sure but one or two skills he uses a bit often so it might work against Satori but his ultimate will will trigger very slowly and will will target the first heroes in the line so it might not reach might not reach Leon so it's not not um, regarding the ultimate is not the best choice next up we're going to do Maya now we're just doing a bit like randomly what I have here to do so Maya Maya where is where is Maya Maya is here so lots of work here at this point if it's too repetitive you can just um, skip down to the later part of the video where we should be finishing all of this and we can see how much more um, how much actually uh, rewards we get from all of this work let's see, let's see three more don't make an accident and buy the wrong ones <laughs> So my am I yeah. Let's look for you. By the way, did you did you know that Maya is an hybrid? She's um if I'm not mistaken, an hybrid between um like a Titan. Titan and um oh the other part I don't recall so well. I think damn it, I don't recall. Um but like like um like slash is an hybrid. She's not specifically just one one type of um, of one type of class, so to speak. Next up is Heidi. And what do you know about Heidi? May I ask? So, for starters, Heidi 
is male, not female. <laughs> Let's get that right. And and uh, Heidi is one of those heroes that have a lot of focus on pure damage. The stats they they basically work around intelligence and magic attack, but most of the damage will be pure damage. If you happen to be um, more specifically a browser player, then her dodge uh, skills, I, I mean her dodge artifact and all her dodge stats, they will they will benefit her. They will benefit Heidi a lot because of the the dodge energy mechanics. So we've done uh, Heidi. And I think we have one more, yes, one more. And now, next in line is Ishmael. Let's grab some more. What can I tell, tell you about Ishmael? So Ishmael is uh, like this um, kid that got transformed, mutated, uh, experimented upon by his father. And it, his father turned him into a half demon or so. So because of that, he has the ability to transform and he also has vampirism. It makes Ishmael uh, a, a very good hero to, to, to combine with damage redirection heroes like Jorgen. So that he can attack the the back line, the middle line, or if you don't use it like that, say you also have Jew, and you can risk it and put Jew and Ishmael together and have Jew hit the back line while Ishmael breaks through the the front line. That's that's an option. So Ishmael has the has the vampirism. While, while Jew has the ability to not die. Both are, are heroes that have critical hit chance. They have a certain amount of uh, armor penetration and they can benefit from additional um, armor penetration from any hero you can put in there. Also critical each chance like from Sebastian next up in line will be Dante well Dante had a rework and um, so he's basically not the same between browser and mobile versions but in both in both versions he has uh, a lot of um, of interest as a hero he will certainly benefit from um, from a team that provides all those physical attack and armor penetration stats he has um, in in um, I believe it's in the still in in the browser version. He has this skill that allows him to do a lot of damage um, by throwing his spears in a very short uh, period of time. And he also has dodge, so he benefits from the dodge mechanics, dodge energy mechanics in the browser versions. As for the mobile version, he got changed a bit. Where is Dante? Where is Dante? Did I just finish Dante and didn't notice? <laughs> I might have done that. Yes. Um, 
So it is different in mobile and, and, and browser versions, but it still does a lot of damage in both versions um, on, on a short burst. Next up will be Darkstar. So Darkstar and then we'll also be doing Fox, Aurora, let's see what else we can do. Darkstar here, she's an elf. She is aligned with the elves in the in the brow in the mobile version. So she can get benefits from Alvanor and the like. She she is a dark elf and the story behind her is that she she got like I'm not entirely sure but kidnapped by dark elves from she's she's originally a, a light elf. She got kidnapped and and she she was um, she 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 grew with the, the dark elves and was trained in the hearts of the dark elves, and she was uh, con let's say convinced to fight for the dark elves and infiltrate the, the light elves fortress and and turn the, the war against the light elves and then she later realized that she was in fact a light elf, so she joined the forces of good. I'm looking now for Fox. The Fox is here. All right. Fox is an is an engineer. And so if you if you were uh, following up the the latest event that we had, the latest larger event that we had in mobile version, we had the engineers released. So Isaac came to visit us and a bunch of heroes joined the engineer family and Fox is one of those. Fox Ginger, they, they are together with Isaac and the three engineers that are shared between mobile and browser versions. Fox is a great hero for stunning. She has a lot of skills that revolve around <coughs> uh, stunning and controlling the enemy. So we have now a six stars fox. Just a bunch more to finish. Let's get now three more. It was certainly a good idea to accumulate <laughs> a little more than f 1,500 just to make sure I had enough. Otherwise, we would be doing um, two at a time. That would be so slow. So we're now getting Aurora. Aurora is a great tank. She's even better in in the browser versions because of the mm, the dodge energy mechanics she's an elf so we have uh, Aurora done next up will be will be Luther Luther is another tank but it's not um, the regular type of tank well, Aurora wasn't either because she she uses magic attacks and she doesn't really uh, give armor to the team or boost uh, the, the defenses of the team. She doesn't provide any any uh, defensive skill or or uh, stat for the team except for the weapon artifact, which gives dodge. And um, let's see. Luther he, he is in that way standard because he provides uh, armor with his weapon artifact. But the special thing that he does is that he jumps uh, to the opposing team, to the back line, and tries to, to fight and distract the team there so that your, your heroes in the front line can have a more, more clear path and, and receive less damage so they survive longer and try to kill off the 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 front line of the um, of the opposing team while 
while they are distracted. The problem with Luther is that you need uh, a second um, frontline hero that is strong and um, you know survives while while Luther Luther jumps because once he's, he jumped he, he is is in, is in the other side of the battle so don't count on him to be to be protecting your your team and um, because of that is also not the ideal fit for many teams but particularly not the fit for having um, faceless around because if you have faceless together with, with Luther faceless will will eventually try to copy Luther and if he jumps to the other side of the team tada he will get killed <laughs> because he's not a very uh, resilient hero so uh, Luther is done now we're going to visit the ah oh, by the way um Luther is a blast hero now we're going to visit the undead so let's pick Corvus Corvus is a fantastic tank he has this skill ball he where, where he puts a puts up at an altar and this altar will basically reflect damage back to to the or or damage the of opposing uh, hero that attacks him or attacks the team or specifically attacks him I think it will reflect him uh, will reflect back some damage of, or that the hero that is attacking is is uh, sending towards the towards Corvus then we have Morrigan and Morrigan raises an army of skeletons basically those two work together very very well and of course the the undead don't finish there because we have more undead heroes we have uh, Kira, Phobos and uh, what was the other one? Faceless so it's very typical to see uh, this is for mobile at least is very typical to see Uh, Corvus, Morrigan and Kira together so I believe we are done now let's see we have uh, I don't know what else we can do I don't think actually any because we don't have enough at least without spending the trophies we don't have enough I suppose I could do some for other but other heroes but that will be on a different occasion so we're now going to look at all those we have evolved to six stars so we have here faceless mojo aurora dark star ishmael heidi fox dante luther maya leon corvus morrigan oh but not uh, not phobos and not Kai yet, those are missing. So that those are the last ones we are going to do. Phobos and Kai. So three more. So as I was saying, uh, Phobos is another undead hero. So he, he basically has a, a set of skills that that target the the backline. He has the paralyzed skill, although mm, I haven't picked up a lot on the on the um, rework. But he's supposed to be uh, a mage killer on browser versions and not really on mobile. But I could be a bit wrong. Let's go for this Phobos. And you can see here that uh, as as we go, the list of possibilities here is decreasing. So let's see how many more do we need. Um, so that was for Kai. Kai just needs two. That's all. That's all we're going to buy.
sorry for the long video but it's just the way it is <laughs> And, uh, oh, did I? No. It's uh, here. Okay. I'm not sure what I did there, but whatever. <laughs> Let's get one more. After so many, um, yeah, it's normal you make mistakes. So the last one for Kai. Let's look now. So Faceless Mojo, so the ones I will be using for the Hydras, possibly. We have Aurora, Darkstar, we have Phobos, Ishmael, Heidi, we have Fox and Dante, Luther, Maya, Leon, Kai, Corvus, Morrigan. And of course, there's more I can do in the future, but I don't have enough Soul Stones. I'm not sure if I will be. I will be doing that work or I'll just um, right away use later sometime the um, the evil boosters so now we click on hero soul stones and we see we can get two hundred and one thousand soul coins that's that's really a lot and that's fantastic We have here the detail for for all of those. So let's see. <laughs> it's really a lot. A lot of souls, but uh, the clear winner would be. Kai. Kai, then, uh, then Dante, then Faceless. Thanks to all those uh, Hero Souls events and the like. Trade. So we got now 203,000, almost 204,000 Soul Coins. We can exchange the first one. That's 5,000 here for Jet. And we can do that one more time and get another 5,000. And see, I have a lot of work uh, to get to the 300 by my calculations. So that would be a 300 minus 174 divided by 2. That would be at least 63 days to get it all done by buying two, two times a day. Every day. But... Um, then we have um, right now 193955 divided by 5000 we have enough for 39 purchases so we'll see we'll see well i guess that's that's it for today i guess i can just come along here and show Jet. I'm working working him up and it will take a while as I mentioned. I hope you, you liked this video and, and found it found it informative. And if you did so, please leave a like and subscribe if you want. Because I will be doing more videos in the future and trying to cover some interesting things like this trick. You see, a lot of a lot of people uh, have have known about the Evo booster, but didn't really, or probably didn't really know about the the that using Evo boosters, you don't you don't actually have to spend gold.
for for evolving your your heroes so this this is a, a great tip that i hope that you guys uh, learned and will use in the future so see you guys around leave a like or subscribe and um, have fun and good luck